everybody, Frank Shen here with REIClub.com, your link to creative real estate. Today I got a quick new video for you explaining how to find absentee owners and out of state owners. Now like in all my videos, everything I talk about, I include in the description below. Simply click show more and you can follow right along. So let's go ahead and dive right on into things. So before we get into how we find these people, um, let's talk about who you should first be targeting. Now I, wrote, I generated a list. The first on the list is our vacation home owners. The next one are people who have gone through divorce, who are trying to settle their estates. Also, properties that have been vacant for a very long time or properties that have been sitting on the MLS and have an average days on market of over like 100, 200, 300 days are nearing their expiration of their, or their listing expiration. Those are really good targeted leads. Also, out-of-state owners and tired landlords. Now, mainly what you're looking for here are owners whose address are different than the property's address. And that will usually indicate that that's the actual owner and they have a tenant in that property. Okay, Or maybe it's a vacant home. Uh, so as an investor, how do we go about finding these people? Now, the best place to get started is the public records. It's free to you to free to access, and each city has their own online public record. If you don't know what yours is, simply go to Google, type in your county, followed by public record. It should usually be the first one or two searches, okay? Now, these are great for individual searches, not bulk searches, individual searches. Um, so if you have an address, you can get a name. If you have a name, you can pull up an address, and usually it gives you a lot more information um, on the public records. Now, you can also search divorce records records, estate records. Um, you can even go to the courthouse yourself to pull this information. But if you're one of those really busy individuals, you can always hire someone to do it for you. Um, but what's really great about public records, it has the tax records, which shows non-residential mailing addresses. So it gives you access to the actual owner of a property instead of the tenant who's living there. Very helpful information. And again, it's free for you to get. The next thing you can do is befriend a realtor, right? Easier said than done. Um, but Really what you could try to do is a trade-off, which is let them know like, hey, by giving me access to the MLS, here's what I'm trying to do. Um, these are specific leads I'm looking for. Any other leads that don't fit my criteria, I'll pass them along to you and they're gonna be already somewhat motivated sellers. So it's gonna be a new lead for them without having to do any work. And then for you, you're gonna get access to their MLS. Now this is gonna be a nurturing process. So it's not gonna be as super easy as it sounds, but um, this really does happen a lot of the times. But once you do get access to the MLS, what you're looking for is the average days on market, you know, looking for that high number, and of course, the owner versus address. Do these match up? If not, then you're heading down the right path. The next thing I want to talk about is using a title company. Now, this typically works best for investors who have already closed a few deals and have an established relationship with a title company. Now, the reason why this is great is that title companies work with investors all the time, some that are out of state, so they're a good referral source. So if they know you as a producer, you close deals with them consistently, they're more willing to provide you information of, uh, of out of state owners or people who maybe wanted to get rid of property. And, and the trade off here, for them to get work working with you is, you know, for any deals that you end up finding on this uh, referral list, you're going to close it with that title company. So it becomes a deal that they never had before. And again, you have a lead referral system. So that's how you end up working with a title company. Again, works best for investors that close already a few deals. Uh, the next thing you could do are subscription slash paid services. So you've probably already used these, such as listsource.com. It's a very highly filtered website that generates uh, lists for you, uh, lead lists for you um, anything from demographic income geo targeting lists like it's a huge list definitely check it out even lists from 200 250 names will cost you between 50 to 100 dollars very affordable for what you're getting um, also melissadata.com is another website you can access and of course publicrecords.net online.com i include all the links in the description below um, there are other list services but these are the most popular so it's gonna be easier for you to navigate around Next and final thing I want to talk about are landlords, more specifically, tired landlords. And the best way to find properties like this is to drive for dollars, meaning drive around neighborhoods every time you're with the family, look for those for rent signs by owner, not put up by a realtor, and that'll give you an address where you can look up in the tax records, and it'll give you a name. Um, you can take that name, again, we already told you to focus on individual names, not entities, and it'll pull up, more likely if they own multiple properties, it'll pull all those properties up, and boom, there you go. You have 
got uh, more leads to work off of. You can also get the co a copy of the eviction list at the JP Courts. Um, newspaper ads are still very effective online and the paper ones. And of course, online uh, ad sites like Craigslist, Green Sheets, because tired landlords are, will always use these free ad services um, just to kind of feel out you know, if anybody wants to buy their properties. Now, understand that the most important thing here is you got to stay organized. You want to keep a organized Excel spreadsheet. If you're not good with Excel, hire a virtual assistant to organize this for you because staying organized is going to be tremendously helpful for you when you start marketing to your leads. Because essentially what you're doing here is you're building out a very high value absentee out of state owner list. So just process that and imagine how much that's worth. Now, building absentee owners list is not as expensive as you imagine it to be. Um, there are many ways to start building your list with a very little marketing budget as we stated in this video now with public records being so available it really comes down to the time you personally want to put in and the amount of research that you want to do so it all starts with you but it's very very possible now again guys this is French with reiclub.com you know I really do enjoy hope, hope you enjoyed the video do me a favor leave comments below about what you thought about the video click thumbs up um, if you enjoyed it really does help us out but most importantly if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel so we can keep you informed and brand new videos just like this are posted. Again, thank you so much for your time, your continued support. I look forward to talking to you next week. Take care, good investing, and bye-bye.